Hi, my name is David Reyes. I'm a solutions architect focused on AWS IoT. In this short video, you will learn about AWS IoT Device Defender Audit, how to set it up and create a simple mitigation for a device issue. AWS IoT Device Defender can audit and monitor IoT devices on an ongoing basis, helping you to keep your fleet secure. The audit module continuously audits the IoT resources associated with your devices to make sure that they are deviating from security best practices. There are different audit checks that you can select to evaluate resources such as certificates, policies, connection settings, and account settings. For example, one best practice is not to share certificates across devices. And if someone does this, audit will flag them. You can run an audit on demand or schedule it on a recurring basis, for example, daily or weekly. In case of a non-compliant event, Audit can send a notification to your operations team or trigger a Lambda function using SNS. In this manner, you can create a flexible and automated response. Another option to deal with non-compliant results is applying a mitigation action to address them. Mitigation actions can help you tackle potential issues and solve security-related or operational anomalies without any development. They are suitable for common use cases such as replace the full policy version, disable device certificates, or detecting valid login settings. In this demo, we will have a fleet of devices and two of them are sharing the same certificate. Our goal is to configure AWS IoT Device Defender Audit, create an on-demand audit to detect the issue and solve it using a mitigation action. Let's jump into the AWS Management Console and see how we can quickly do this. Access Device Defender Console. Get started with an audit. Click Next. Create Role. We need to create an IAM role allowing AWS IoT to access resources on our behalf. Let's give it a name. Click Next. We can see here all the checks available. Scroll down and click Next. You can optionally configure an SNS topic to notify internal systems or trigger a Lambda function, but we will let it disable and use a mitigation action instead. Click Enable Audit. From now on, AWS IoT Device Defender started to collect data to run audits on our fleet. It also generated a scheduled daily audit automatically. But you can create an audit instance separately, whether as a schedule or on-demand audit. Let's create one now. This audit will only include the required check. In this case, device certificate shared. There are different schedules to match your needs, but in this demo, we want to run one now. Click Create. That's it. We have created our first on-demand audit. While it's running, we will create a mitigation action. Click on Mitigation Actions. Click Create. Let's give it a name. We can see here different actions. We will use Update Device Certificate. Create a role. Let's give it a name. Create Role. And Save. Awesome, we have created our first mitigation action. Now let's see what's going on with the audit. View audit results. We can see here that our audit is still running, but let's take a look at a previously completed audit report. It found three different non-compliant issues. Let's drill down in the first one to see the details. Device Defender detects a shared certificate and it's showing the certificate ID on the right. Let's choose the certificate, click Actions, and start Mitigation Actions. We will need to provide a name to this task and expand the options. We need to choose the right mitigation action to address the issue. In this case, one response is to deactivate the shared certificate and provision the devices with new certificates 
to prevent misusage. So let's go ahead and select the Activate Certificate action. Close and confirm. Let's check the progress. That's it. We have finished the setup and mitigate the issue on our fleet. If you want to learn more about Device Defender, you can check the product page to see additional use cases. On the documentation link, you can get detailed instructions to set up and use Device Defender Audit. I encourage you to check the free training called AWS IoT Device Defender Primer. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.